And let me tell you about a guy I know He's my baby and he lives next door Every morning when the sun comes up He brings me coffee in my favorite cup That's why I know Yes, I know Hallelujah, I love him so Hi, I'm Zachary Stewart and I'm here with cabaret and nightclub legend Marilyn May. <laughs> How you Zach. doing, Marilyn? I'm good, sweetheart. I guess a lady doesn't reveal her age. No, we're not going to use the age card today. <laughs> but, <laughs> we won't, we um, won't use the age card. And, but I and, mo and, most, your... and most of you know. <laughs> well, it's in your title for your next show. It is. My lawyer below, does that. <laughs> my, my, my lawyer does my titles. You want, you want the titles when he started doing titles uh -huh. from the beginning? The 90th uh, celebration was um, 90 at last. And then my 91st was, wish I was 90 again, wish I were 90 <laughs> again. And now this is uh, 92 and I'm not through. However, in the middle of it, we, we play it in October too, and um, last October, and it was called Blame It On My Youth. <laughs> so he, he gets credit for all that. <laughs> well, credit where credit is due. I mean, you've been uh, doing this your entire life. What is your earliest memory of singing? When I was 10 or, or maybe nine, um, the memory is my, my cousin was a, was a, she was in the movies and uh, was a star in her real young days. Her name was Joy Hodges. And uh, she's like my sister because we have a very small family and, and um, I don't have any siblings. So she was mine. She was in Hollywood and my, my aunt, her mother, took me out to visit her they said Marilyn sing and I think I was on a picnic table singing look for the silver lining and my mother taught my mother was a pianist and she taught me to sing when I was three so by the time I was nine and ten I was entering amateur contests in Kansas <laughs> and usually won I don't have any reasons I left them all, all behind I'm in a New York state of mind Well, and you've been working very consistently um, in All this particular. Have you have you had other jobs that are not mm, as a singer? No, my 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 stepfather was a grocer, uh -huh. and one time he needed a cashier, okay. and I happened to be visiting them in the summertime, and I said, "Well, I can do that," and I got it was really a mess. <laughs> I went back to singing. <laughs> I think that was something I remember from your show at 54 Below. A few Did I tell back. that? You know, you said something to the effect of, this is the only thing we know how to do. This is the all I know how to do. I'm, I married several times, and uh, one was a, a my, my last husband was a wonderful pianist, a mm. genius, genius pianist. Sam Tucker was his name, mm -hmm. and he was fabulous, and we worked for 12 years. But everybody that I married was alcoholic, you know, mm. was an alcoholic, so I, that didn't seem to work out. So the best thing that I can do is sing, and it's fun, you know. Uh, everybody said, but aren't you... Retirement is not in my vocabulary. Sure. That word is just, uh huh. Mm -hmm. And I'm blessed because my voice is still here and my mind is good and I love teaching. I'm, I'm having a great time mm -hmm. working with, with people who have the passion, mm -hmm. the passion for singing. I really love doing that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's busy, mm -hmm. it's very busy. I saw you give an interview where you said you had a regular gig at a club in, I believe it was Kansas City. In Kansas City. City. For eight years. Eight years? Eight okay. Years. Eight years. How, how um, did that happen? How did that come about? And what was it like? Well, my daughter was in school. Right. And, and it seemed logical that, that we s stay there rather mm -hmm. than travel. A man opened a restaurant and there was a little lounge in it that could seat, oh, maybe 60 people. And you went in the lounge to wait to go to dinner somewhere. So we worked it five nights a week. I mean, this is incredible to me because it's almost like working an office job, but yes. it's in a nightclub. And it was, and it yeah. was, it was like that. Do you think that's a very rare thing for singers? I think it's very rare, although I don't know, you know, what other people are doing, but because I'm busy. Uh -huh. <laughs> but, but, but I think it's rare, you know, and and I think it was wonderful in one way for me because it was great great training ground, you know. Um, my husband was funny, and I liked to be funny, and and we would banter back and forth, and people loved that. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, he would always say, I'd start telling some story, and he'd always say, just Marilyn, sing the song, sing the damn song. <laughs> <You know? laughs> 
<laughs> and that kind of thing. So it it was fun. It it was great, and and it seemed uh, the right thing to do. I was glad to be working and 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 living, and I was busy. You know, I, I had my daughter and raising a daughter, and and teaching in the afternoons, and going to work, and and dealing with an alcoholic husband. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. <laughs> All of that. Now there was a period, of course. Um, you know, moving along from your, your early work on the radio, mm -hmm. um, where you crossed over and started being on television quite a bit. How many times were you on The Tonight Show? Oh, well, from RCA, that happened. Uh, Ed McMahon mm -hmm. came, came to the living room. I was working a club mm -hmm. in, here, in, here in New York. Um, and Ed came in and he said, oh, you have to do The Tonight Show. And I said, yes, I do. <laughs> so, so he took me to The Tonight Show and, um, and I did it, I don't know how many times here in New York. I wish I had the record of all that. I believe it's 76. Well, we did 76, but, but a lot of it was in California. Oh, okay. Because the show had moved. Well, know. it counts. It's still The Tonight yes, Show. It doesn't yes. have to be in New York. And that we hold the singer's record. There's, there's not a singer that's done it that's more done than it that. more. Would you welcome Marilyn May? Marilyn? Oh, my friend, we're older, but I'm wiser. Well, so you've worked in nightlife your, your entire life. You've always it's probably seen some pretty wild things, right? <laughs> I mean, you're in a dining room, people are drinking. What is the craziest thing that's ever happened in an oh, audience I while know. you were performing? I don't know. Oh, um, Maybe in that little room in Kansas City, I know uh, somebody shot somebody in the restaurant, and and uh, we just started singing. I didn't know the gun was loaded. I had a down. So sorry, my dear. You know, <laughs> that was one thing. <laughs> I, if I thought about that, Zach, I probably yeah, would. Yeah, that's a well, pretty big one. Well, yeah, but you know, <laughs> we just kept singing. <laughs> yeah, oh, we could just keep singing. Yeah, the show yeah, kept sure going did. on. We thought, what is happening? Well, at first we thought, and then somebody said, no, 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 <gasps> somebody really got a gun. You know, <laughs> so. That's when we went into I didn't know. I mean, I've always had a sense of humor. You know, you, you can't be in this business if you don't have a Absolutely. sense of humor. <laughs> well, and this is the thing, too, about working in nightlife, is that you meet some very interesting characters, and they're not all singers and chefs, are they? No, no. But <laughs> Tell me if you ever ran into any alternative businessmen in your times working in nightclubs. And what I think that? you know what I mean. What does that mean? Mobsters. Oh, oh, my people. Uh-huh. <laughs> No. Yes, I have. No. Yes. <laughs> yes, I have. I'm not trying to put you on the no, stand no, here. No. 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 Thank you. Um, <laughs> well, you know, they, they, in, in my day, I go back some, and you know, mm -hmm. in Kansas City, and and um, they do love us, and they're good to us, you know. So, I have no com no more comment on that. <laughs> I see. Pleading the fifth. So you teach quite a bit now. And you've mentioned it. that. Uh, well, how many that. students would you say you've had? Oh, I have no idea. I have no idea. But yesterday I had 14, mm -hmm. you know, in one setting. Okay. We, we did it. Uh, we, we were there for six hours. And it's wonderful to see people, you know, anywhere from 16 to 85. There was an 85-year-old man there and a 75-year-old man mm -hmm. there. This kind of personal appearance, I call it nightclub, you call it cabaret, but mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I still call them nightclubs. Mm -hmm. But when you appear in a light nightclub, you, you, you're you, you yeah. know, and there's, you can't hide behind some character. So um, that's what, it, what I teach is to sing to the audience, not, not, not for them. There's no fourth wall. Mm. you know with 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 what we do and it's it's this kind of thing it's conversation yeah. and it's the lyric and it's telling the story it's a we're fortunate that we get to bring happiness you know the greatest compliment that i get is you know i didn't feel very good all week and i almost didn't come tonight and i'm so glad i did you know i'm just i'm i'm just you've changed my life and i don't know really what that means but a lot of people say that mm. i don't think we've really changed their life but it's a lovely thing to say and and, and and maybe so, you know, maybe they latched on to some lyric of, of it's today, you know, the, the lyric of it's today is, you know, though it may not be anyone's birthday and though it's far from the first of the year, I know that this very minute has history in it, we're here. Though it may not be anyone's birthday and though it's far from the first of the year, I know that this very minute has history in it. 
We're here. Now, I have some photos for us to look at from oh, through your dear. career. That's scary. <laughs> so tell me about this. I don't know, but didn't she have a good body? Fabulous. <laughs> well, this looks <laughs> like a, it was... It was a really good body. I mean, this looks like it was William something that Morris would have been agency, sent out by your agent. In, in Chicago. Uh -huh. um, and that was wardrobe that, that I, I had a wonderful woman that... She practically went blind sewing sequins and rhinestones on stuff <laughs> and made my costumes. Uh -huh. Now I'm so fortunate because um, I, I, I know Bob Mackey mm -hmm. and got to meet him and we've become very good friends and most of my wardrobe is Mr. Mackey now. Who is this? <laughs> Talk about That's Ella Fitzgerald. Ella Fitzgerald. That's yeah. Ella Fitzgerald. There's a story about her. Oh, we're such dear friends. Our friendship mostly happened in dressing rooms. We really had a good time. We, we, we would discuss world events and, and people and uh, dish everybody <laughs> in dressing rooms. Mm -hmm. She was a lovely gal. Very shy. Very shy woman. Very, very shy. Oh, yeah. And Liza, I know Liza, she always said, you're the best, you're the best. <laughs> That's how she said, you're the best, you're the best. She is a doll. She's, uh, we, we had time in her home just for a moment. And, and we sang, and Billy, Billy Stritch played the piano, and I sang, and she sang, and my daughter sang. <laughs> you sing cabaret together? Uh, no, we didn't, mm -hmm. but she knows that it's my hit. Uh -huh. Good. You know, she says, you I know, Marilyn. Don't ever let her forget it. It's her it. hit. I don't let her forget it. <laughs> And, and Tommy, he stood all the way up, didn't he? <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> Is he the most gorgeous thing? Mm. Oh, he's so gorgeous. You were just with him recently. We, we did. We had dinner together not too long ago, and he's, he's with his charm and his talent and his beauty. He's, I guess he's done well. Mm. <laughs> and that's when I did MAME. Uh -huh. you were, do you remember yeah. what theater this was at? Uh, in Houston, at uh -huh. the Performing Arts Center okay. in, in Houston. And that's Kevin Alvey. He is now a photographer here, a very fine photographer here in New York, and is one of my very best friends, mm -hmm. and uh, kind of my kid. He's kind of my son, mm -hmm. um, because he was 19 and 20 and 21. This is Hello Dolly, the mm -hmm. production that I was telling you about. And um, Kevin, Dolly, he's Barnaby. Kevin was Barnaby. Yeah. He was Barnaby. So wave your little hand and whisper so long, dearie, dearie, should have said so long, so long ago. Finally, by the fourth year of the production of Dolly that I was doing, uh, was summer productions. And every summer we would do Dolly. And then finally, by the, no, by the third year, I said, you know, all these great songs that Dolly doesn't get to sing. And um, so I said, we've got to do an album of that. And I called Jerry Herman and asked him to write liner notes. And he I said, of course I will. They, they arrived shortly after I sent him the, the copy of, of what we'd recorded. And it was a lovely time, lovely time. So you did the entire score of Dolly? Yes, the, title, the title is Marilyn, May, Marilyn uh -huh. May Sings All of Jerry Herman's Hello, Dolly. It was a big cover, <laughs> it was a very long cover. From your tasty lips seems the honey, the honey barely drips. Well, you're going to be in Palm Springs. You're going to be at uh, Jazz at Lincoln Center. You're going to be at 54 Below later this year. Feinstein's, Feinstein's 54, 54 Below. And you're going to be at Lake Okoboji this summer. Yeah, that's right. Tell that's me about right. that. You've been performing. This is your most consistent venue, I think. This will be my 64th year, mm. 64th summer consecutive, mm -hmm. 64th summer. Really, those are really my oldest, dearest friends yeah. now. You see people regularly, I see them probably again, for yes, decades, yes, have come back to the show. Exactly, exactly, yeah. and we've become close friends, and they travel into New York to see me. Mm. If you could write an autobiography, mm -hmm. what would it be called? Orchids and Onions. Why? Well, opening night and during the engagements, it's orchids, and closing night, it's onions. Mm until the orchids come again. <laughs> I like onions, personally. <laughs> well, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, I want to thank you so much thank for taking the time you. to speak thank with you. us here.、Thank、This、you. was really delightful, and I can't wait to see your shows. Thank you. So, June the Grand. Up.